Hey, Lake in the Hills, Illinois. This is Richard Friedkin, Realtor with eXp Realty, and I'm coming to you again with another segment of my real estate market report for Lake in the Hills. And this is my New Year's edition. Happy New Year. Uh, this covers what happened the last uh, part of 2023. I uh, hope you had a great New Year's Eve and a great New Year's, and I hope you're going to make it a great 2024. But let's get to the reason why we're here. Uh, I'm sharing my screen. If you've tuned into these before, you've noticed that I do this spreadsheet that shows the market activity for the current month of December as of December 31st and covers the previous months. Give you an idea of what's going on in the real estate market in Lake in the Hills so that if you're planning on doing something with real estate, you get a better idea of what's going on and what you can expect. So for the month of December, we had a little bit tick down of homes that were actively on the market, obviously understandable with the holidays and the colder weather. We had 30 homes that were active. We had 28 homes that went under contract. Uh, that was a sizable drop from the previous month of 41. And then we sold 31 homes um, that, that uh, you know, sold and closed. Uh, and that was clearing out some of this inventory. The average close price did tick up, which is good news, 304,083. And that's because interest rates dropped the last couple months. They were as high as like eight and a quarter percent. And as of the latest uh, market report from Freddie Mac, a 30-year fixed rate was down to around 6.81%. So a lot of good things going on in the market. If you're thinking about buying or selling, rates have come down. Prices have kind of stabilized because there were a lot of people who cut their prices if their home was on the market too long. So that's kind of making a great opportunity for everybody. The average list price, uh, 357 629 So that shows that people were uh, kind of getting their expectations more in line with what was going on in the market. Average days to contract, when those interest rates dropped, these homes went under contract. So that dropped from 46 to 25. Uh, average days on the market, though, some of the homes that were still overpriced and sitting on the market, that did jump up to 117 days. So hopefully we'll see that start to drop as we get into the spring market after the football, a little more mild, milder weather. So it's a great time to buy. It's a great time to sell. Prices are down a little bit. Interest rates are down. If you have any questions at all about your home, uh, about the market, give me a call, 847-922-8423. There's my phone number on your screen. If you want to know what your home is worth, go to rjhomevalue.com and uh, fill out a little form with your home address and I'll get to work on your market report. So hope you make it a great 2024. I'll be back at you on February 1st with the next edition of this market report. Again, if you have any questions at all real estate related, give me a call, 847-922-8423. Make it a great January and a happy new year to you. Take care.